Hello and welcome. My name is Sarah Madras, founder of Esteem Builders Coaching. If this is your first time meeting me, welcome and thank you for joining me. I am a motivational speaker and a licensed therapist. And what I'm passionate and what I know to be true is that the number one thing that is an indicator of our health and happiness is fulfilling relationships. And so that's what I help you do, is to strengthen your relationship skills so that you can have the fulfilling relationships that you want. The fulfilling relationship with yourself, with your loved ones, at work with coworkers, and in the community. So welcome today. Today I'm gonna to be talking about parenting and our relationship with our children. And, um, if you got a chance to see my last video, I talked about how the words we use are so powerful and just little changes in our language can uh, shift us from shaming our children to parenting. So if you haven't seen that one, check that one out. It's called How I've Been Screwing Up as a Parent. So for New Year's Eve, my husband and I wanted to do something fun uh, for our children as like the the special thing that we do since it was their last day of winter break. And so they had never seen the Lego Ninjago movie. So we went, rented it from Redbox and uh, we had seen the Lego, uh, the Lego movie before and it was cute and funny. And so we thought that this has to be pretty similar to it. So the movie is playing and I knew that since there was like ninjas and stuff, I knew that there was gonna be action scenes, but I'm watching this movie and there's not, not only are they having fighting action scenes, but they were name calling each other. Um, at one point they said, now we have to go kill him. And my husband and I look at each other as the movie's going on and we're like, what on earth is going on? This is a kid's movie. And so we ended up having to stop the movie because we didn't want our kids watching something that was, you know, promoting name calling, violence, and saying, I'm going to kill you. Because for us, it's important to raise nonviolent males. And so we were really shocked that that was the language and what was happening in the movie. So we ended up stopping the movie and the kids luckily weren't that into it. So there wasn't big, a lot of pushback and we transitioned to a new activity. But that incident made me realize that a few weeks before at my son's basketball game, the team that they were playing against was uh, much more physical. They didn't have the same coaching that my son's team had, and uh, they just didn't know not to foul or, or, or things like that. And when the kids were sitting on the bench and I was talking to the kids, they were saying they're playing dirty, and we have to be more aggressive and we have to play dirty too. And at first I hung my head in embarrassment because the kid on the team that said we have to play dirty too, yep, that was my kid. That was my son that said that. And so at first I was like, oh God, the wash of parenting shame where you're like, my kid's the one who said something inappropriate. <laughs> and, so, and so I said to the team, I said, no, we don't play dirty just because they're playing dirty. I said, we're gonna to continue to play with integrity. I said, it means we're gonna play harder, we're gonna play smarter, and we're gonna play as a more unified team. But it showed me that even in these moments, whether it's sports or whether it's a Lego Ninjago movie, that society is flooding, especially our boys, with this message of be aggressive. And in sports, that's a common thing to say, is be aggressive, play aggressive. And the word aggressive is actually something we don't wanna teach our boys because aggression actually means violence. So I don't want to have a violent child. I don't wanna have an aggressive child. So I, do I want to raise an assertive child? Yes. And so when we say be aggressive, we actually don't mean be violent. What we mean is be courageous, stand up for yourself, hold your ground, work hard, play hard. Like that's what we really mean. And instead of saying 
you know, play hard, we say be aggressive. Instead of saying stand your ground, we say be aggressive. But when they hear the word aggressive, that is to them because society tells us aggression is violence. Aggression is to say I'm going to kill you in the Lego Ninjago movie. Uh, and so I realized then, oh, another time where I have to be so careful with the words I use. And so with the team, I was saying, you know, play harder, uh, be brave and don't back down. And so I used those words instead because I realized when I was using the word aggression or be aggressive, that I was then sending my son the message of play dirty because they're playing dirty. Or, you know, how, how confusing is that for my son when I'm telling him play aggressive, but don't be violent and we don't kill people and we don't name call it. Like how confusing for a child. And so it's that little switch of our language. So maybe next time if you have a child who's out there playing sports or you're cheering them on, instead of from the sidelines cheering, be aggressive, be aggressive, maybe cheer, stand your ground, be brave, because we want them to be assertive. We want them to advocate for themselves and advocate for others. We are not wanting, our intention is never to raise violent males. Our intention is to raise strong children, whether that's male or female. Our intention is to raise children who can stand up for themselves and who can stand up for others. And so I wanna take away the word aggression and I wanna take away the connotation of violence and of fighting and of killing and of guns and, and, and aggressiveness and shift it into being strong. Because sometimes brave means just using your words. It means walking away. It means rising above and having a higher level of integrity in the game and not fouling and, and still playing hard, still doing your best, still playing hard and just showing a higher level of integrity. So I hope that helps. So in, remember, when you're using your language, ask yourself, what is the message I'm trying to portray? Because I was trying to portray the message of advocate for yourself. And I can't be on the sidelines cheering, be assertive, be assertive. I mean, you can if you want to. Like, and so it's play hard, be brave, don't back down. Like cheering those things rather than be aggressive. So I hope that helps. I would love for you to share this video. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And feel free to visit my website. There's tons of freebies that you can download at sarahmadris.com. All right, thanks so much. See you next time.